how to find a low voltage short. Okay, you go to a unit. This is what I do. This is my process. You go to a unit, the low voltage fuse is tripped. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my eyes, right? I'm going to go to the condenser. I'm going to look at the contactor. Is the coil brown and old looking, right? Second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look in the condenser. Is the reversing valve coil brown and burnt looking? Then I'm going to look for any low voltage wires in that condenser that may be rubbing on a pipe that rubbed through the insulation and is now touching the pipe. And I'm going to look at the thermostat wires that are in the little cabinet. Are they touching? That's 95% of your shorts solved right there. Okay, if I don't see anything, I'm going to go to the air handler. I'm going to disconnect the condenser wires from the air handler and I'm going to run that system. First, you're going to want to get a baseline, right? If you have one of those little fuse poppers or if you just have fuses, before you disconnect anything, what I do is I run the system and see when the fuse trips, how long does it take to trip, okay? So let's say it takes a minute. Sometimes I use my stopwatch. Then I will disconnect the condenser wires completely and I will run the system. If the fuse trips within that minute, that short is in that air handler. If it never trips, that short is in that condenser. So I just eliminated half the system. This is on a split system. Let's say the fuse never trips and the short is in the condenser. Then I'm going to put the yellow wire on. If it trips within a minute, it's the contactor, right? I'm going to go out there and check that out. If it doesn't trip, I'm going to put the orange wire. If it trips, it's the reversing valve, or reversing valve or the wire that goes along with it. So you do it by process of elimination, just like that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching AC Man Heating and Air Conditioning. Remember to like and follow for more.